What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlayBlayGamer.com and before we get into the Dynasty video, I want to briefly mention my latest blog post on the website. It has a lot to do with some cool, interesting things that I found out in Dynasty mode, especially in off-season recruiting. So make sure you check that out. Okay. In the last video we took on New Mexico, last game of the regular season, we beat them by three. It was a close game, but we won. We're now seventh in the country, and today we have to start off by simulating the conference championship week and then playing our bowl game and all that other good stuff. Before we get into that, let's talk about what the future holds for this dynasty. I've talked about it several times. I'm either going to stay with the UNLV if I get invited or I'm moving on to another program. And I've looked at other programs, and I've pretty much narrowed it down to two schools. So let's talk about those two schools. Let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's go to Conference Standings. The first school I want to mention is Mississippi State. Again, my last blog post kind of talks about the reason why I'm thinking about taking over this team. First of all, they're terrible, and it would be a fun rebuild. Two, it gets me back in the SEC. The schedules should always be tougher. Looks like Ole Miss and LSU are ranked in the West. And Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee are all ranked in the East. So there's going to be at least six teams pretty much ranked in the top 25 every single week. So the schedule is going to be tough. Plus, it gets me back in the SEC, which it's been years since I've been there. So I like the idea of all of that, especially taking over a winless team and trying to build them up. Okay. The other team I'm thinking about is... Oklahoma State. Now, here's the reason why Oklahoma State, first of all, they're having a bad year. They're a three-star program. I'm going to go down to a two, the same as uh, as Mississippi State. They're currently a three-star. They'll go down to two next season. But this schedule is going to be even tougher. Look at the division. Texas is number three. A&M is six. Oklahoma is four. Texas Tech is 19. That's four top 20 teams in one division. That's a, going to be a brutal schedule. Should be year in and year out. If you look at the Big 12 North, Nebraska is the only ranked team. So the South is much tougher. There were a few other teams I was looking at, but they were all basketball schools. I kind of wanted to take over a football school, or at least a school that cared a little bit more about their football. I, like Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky, Kansas, Indiana, they're all terrible at football currently in this dynasty. But again, they're all basketball schools. So I wanted to do a football driven schools. So I'm thinking Mississippi State or Oklahoma State. So let's look at the rosters real quick for those. Let's go to Mississippi State. They are currently a C-plus team overall. They got 14 seniors, like a bunch of freshmen and walk-ons and whatnot, but they don't have, they got three guys in the 90s and two of them are seniors and one's a junior. But let's look at, you know, their quarterback situation is going to be kind of tough. Nothing super exciting to get the hang your hat on there. Halfbacks are okay. Fullbacks, receivers. Receivers ain't too bad, but a lot of them are seniors, so they'll be gone. You know, uh, their strength, from what I could tell just by looking at their stuff, is their defense is a little bit better. They got more guys in the 80s on defense than on offense. You know, like here's this big-time linebacker. He's a junior. He'd probably go pro early. Middle linebacker's not all that good. A couple decent corners, a junior and a senior. You know, but two seniors, a strong safety. So, again, as a whole, they're a C-plus overall team. So is Oklahoma State. You go to Oklahoma State, C-plus overall team, but they have a little more different strengths in certain areas. Like here, Bobby Reed, a junior, he'll probably be back next year. I would start off with an amazing quarterback out of the gate. Halfback looks probably similar to what Mississippi State had. Good little receiving core. They're much younger than what Mississippi State had. Tight ends, they got a good group of tight ends coming in next year. Tackles, okay. They got a guard, he's leaving. Uh, defensively, they got, he's leaving, he's a senior. As you can tell, offensively or defensively, they're not as good. So they're basically the same team, but one's a little more offensive laden than the other. Uh, Oklahoma State's just got better offensive power, while Mississippi State has better defensive power. So in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter which one I take over. It just kind of depends on which one I have a feel for at the time. 
Right now, I'm kind of thinking Mississippi State, just because the challenge is going to be tougher. And you can tell they have, of course, they'll have one guy in the 90s come back. That's why it's C-plus for both teams. Either way, these are the two I'm kind of thinking about. Okay? Now, with all that being said, let's simulate. Oh, uh, we don't need to simulate that yet. Are we done with recruiting? Yeah, we're done with recruiting. Okay, just making sure. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, before I get into this, offensively, I want to do new schemes. I want to do that every single dynasty or every program I take over. I want to do something you guys haven't seen before, at least not much of. Since I've been under center for like the last two or three dynasties, it feels like, I'm going to go back uh, and do a little more shotgun stuff. I'll probably do some spread type things. I got about three offenses in mind. One is basically... A, a modern pro type offense where it's heavily reliant on RPOs, RPRs, package plays, stuff like that. Then I thought about uh, the run it, uh, the veer and shoot, the Art Briles offense. I've tried to wrap my head around the best way about attacking that. That's a spread offense, but it's all vertical passing and play action and running the ball. I thought about doing that. Then I've also decided about doing nothing but straight up passing and try to break some records. And speaking of, I want to show you that. I think I've showed you this before. Let's see. Oh, it's not going to let me... Uh, dynasty records. I think that's it. Yeah. Career. No, uh, season. This is the best season I've ever had as a quarterback. This was a year back in 2005. No, that might have been the year. It's. I don't know how long it's been since I've done this dynasty, but in that dynasty with Kent State, I threw the ball pretty much on every down. And with an average quarterback and an average group of receivers, ended up with close to 6,500 yards in one season. So what I was thinking about doing with that particular offense is just throwing all the time, but doing it from different sets, adjusting to my talent. So if i got a, like a really good tight end and a good fullback who can catch, I'm going to do more 21 personnel type stuff. If i got four good receivers, I may go four wide. So it's not going to be just in the gun four wide the entire time. I'm just going to find the best pass catchers I can find. So I'm thinking of doing, a again, a full-blown pass-heavy offense. And that the re, one of the reasons I want to do that was to show you all a bunch of different passing concepts you've probably never seen me use before. On top of that, uh, that modern pro or spread offense, and that may be it. I don't know. And the, the veer and shoot, possibly. I haven't decided yet. If you have any ideas, please put them in the comment section. Something may pique my interest. Uh I don't know, but either way, we're going to do something new if I take over a new program. Okay, now let's get back to this. All right, let's simulate this week. Cross your fingers. Let's hope we get to a good bowl. I'd like to get into a BCS bowl. I'm afraid we'll go to the Liberty Bowl, which is, it is what it is. <clears throat> play a, we'll play a MAG team of some sort. We'll see if we won any awards. Yeah, I'm excited about what's to come. I, I'm, good chance I'll be going to either Mississippi State or Oklahoma State. The other ones just don't pique my interest. I just have no desire to take over a basketball school. I don't know. Uh, all right, we won Coach of the Year. Anderson won Returner of the Year. That's awesome. I don't know when's the last time I won that, to be honest. I'll have to go back and look at my videos. I just don't remember winning this award hardly ever. But that's cool that he won that. And we're going to the Liberty Bowl against a 7-5 and five Marshall. Hopefully I can just wear him out today and be done with it. Looks like Adrian Peterson won the Heisman Trophy. Okay. So let's go to Sports Illustrated. Let's go to award winners. No, we've already... I, I, yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Peoples was out of the Maxwell. I was curious to see. Peoples was second for the Walker. Keep going, and Parker just made outside of the top three. Awesome season for him. Aguayo was just outside the top three. And Returner, he had, I want to see his return stats. Kick return, 
He didn't have any. It was his punt return. He ended up with four punt returns for touchdowns. I guess that's what done it for him. That's cool to see him do that, though. That's awesome. And we won Coach of the Year. Cool beans. All right, let's go to All-Americans. We should have a handful of guys on this list. People's first teamer. Anderson made first team. Even, oh, I mean, and he should have. Look at the yards he had all together. Over 1,600 yards, eight touchdowns. Let's keep going. Let's see. Uh, defensively, I figure Parker. Parker made first team All American as a true freshman. That is pretty sweet. Second team All Americans. Go down the list. Not seeing anything. Freshman All American. Parker should be on here. That would be it. And there he is, Warren Parker, freshman All American. Okay, now let's go to the Mountain West. Peoples. Anderson, uh, Willie Smith, true freshman. And that's all because of the pancakes, to be honest. True freshman, left guard. Willie Smith made the first team Mountain West. Parker and Aguayo made first team. Second team, Casey Flair. Receiver, then a bunch of other, it's the pancakes. Yeah, that's what done it. The rest of our offensive line pretty much made second team. Kelly Mitchell, or it's not, I, I think I've been calling him Martin all season. His last name is Mitchell. 6'5", 184, has had a good season, and he's just a freshman. And that is it for that. Uh, all right, let's just go ahead and take on, uh, let's look at Marshall's stats. That's probably a good idea. Let's see. About the same talent, they throw the ball quite a bit. And... That's all that really stands out. So that's what I needed to know. I, I didn't even bother to look at. I need to check out their scouting report. I can do that right quick. Let me go to that. Let's see. Go here. And we'll go to scouting report. Let's see. Go to Marshall. I need to get in the habit of just doing this before I start the video. Okay, they're a spread offense. They throw a little bit more than they pass, than they run. They're a 4 3 team. And their defense run pass ratio is 30 to 70. So I don't know if that means they just don't blitz a lot. They like to drop a lot of guys back. They're going to play more zone. Maybe that's what that means. I'm not sure. All right, their playbook is four ace sets and five gun. All four aces, big, big tight end wide receiver, big twins and wide trips. And gun bunch, normal spread, tight and trips over. So, okay. Four, three, and they're kind of soft. Oh, that's what I really need to know. Okay, let's look at, they don't have anybody hurt. Their quarterbacks had a pretty good season. Looks like they got a three-headed monster like we do. Hopefully we can take care of business today. We got a pretty day in Memphis. I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game. Kirk Kirk Brad wearing the blue suit today. Cold, wet, 21 degrees. Interesting. We've seen a lot of long sleeves out there today. Marshall, I've always liked her uniforms. Old Peoples had an awesome season. Hopefully he'll finish strong today. He's just a junior. He may come back next season. Of course, we may not even know that if we move on to another team. And they're picking us, as expected. We are getting the ball first. They won it in the second half. So let's check out their roster. Bernard Morris, he could run, so we're not going to blitz too hard on him today. Impact running back. And his backup is just as good. Let's see. They got an impact receiver. They got a good 
receiving core. That's really good for that conference. Let's see. Not a bad tight end. Their offensive line is probably the normal for that conference. Oops. Uh, they are 4-3 teams, so let's see. 72 and 82 at the ends. 76 and 70. So their front four isn't the greatest in the world. Look at their starting. They're like their best even tackle. 6'4", 258. That is small. Outside linebacker, 74. Their middle linebacker, 78. And then a 78. So their front seven is not all that special. And actually, their backup is their impact guy. I'm sure he'll be on the field some. Corner, 76, 74. Not a whole lot of corner. Not much of free safety. And nothing against strong safety. So their defense just doesn't look all that great. So we should be able to put some points up. Their special teams isn't terrible. 70 and 78. So it comes down to stopping their offense. And not turning the ball over, of course. Let's get this show on the road. Just don't fumble it. Right hash. We can start off with Corkers. We're going zone. Dime. Probably go to Nash or Flair here. Left tackle got blew up there. I don't know if you saw this. And here's something I was thinking about today. We can talk about this. Something you, for everybody to think about. You know, from NCAA 07 to 11, it's got to jump the snap. That's one of the reasons why I don't play those games. It's just too much of a hassle to deal with. You have to severely alter everything to make it work halfway decent. Well, I've noticed that I'm starting to wonder if jump the snap is in a lot of these. Is in 06 as well. They just don't have a name for it. They don't really make it pop like they do in the newer games. We look at my left tackle. Gets destroyed. That happens a lot this year. I don't know why. So, I'm, I'm automatically scrambling for my life out of the gate. Just kind of noticed that throughout the game. I may have to go back and look at myself and see how many of my offensive linemen just get blown up today. If it's like quite a bit or somewhat noticeable, then it makes you wonder if there's really that much difference between 06 through 11. I don't know. I still think 06 is by far the best because I think it's got good balance. It's got a lot of good things to going forward. But either way, it's just something to think about. Okay, let's run the ball. Let's do a toss with Peoples. If you like passing yards, then you're in for a treat. Today we get to see a very skilled quarterback. We're going zone. Good run there by Peoples. Rocking the long sleeves. I want to do a blast up the middle. Since their front four is not the best in the world. We're going zone. And they bunch up. Of course they do. Let's go ahead and do that. Pick up about five. All right, let's do corners. We're going man. Four, three. We're spreading out that way. We're one high. I got hit as soon as I threw it. Dang it. Yeah. I got hit as soon as I threw it because I knew he was going to short arm it. That was halfway my fault, I guess. I waited too long on it. All right. Let's get on defense. Hopefully that doesn't bite us. Halfback to Rex. They decide to run. First thing. Let's just stick with quarters again. They should throw more than usual. But with their impact running back, you just never know. That's good defense right there. Okay, let's go to Cloud. This quarterback had too much faith in his arm that time. Well, that confidence almost led to a change of possession. His man let's go here and here. Love to get a stop here. I don't think he got it. Please punt the ball. Good deal. He didn't get it. All right. That's good recovery from that interception. We'll get the ball back and see if we can redeem ourselves. Let's 
All right, we're back on the right hash again. Let's go. Let's see. Let's just run the ball for now. Slam. They're going zone nickel. Get about eight yards with Peoples. Uh, let's go back to a toss. They're going man. They're doing that. We're going to run to our left or right. Motion him over. Let's pick up the first. Get just enough. Uh. Let's go, Ralph. He's going zone. Good throw there. Found a big hole over the middle. I actually threw it kind of late on that one, but that's okay. Let's do five semi from weak normal. They're going man. Let's just go to Wheaton here. That was a terrible throw. He had to stop for it for some reason. Second and one. We got a down to play with, so let's do Corkers. They're going zone. Good throw. Pick up a good game there. Now we are on... Let's go here. Let's do Lonnie. We'll do it from I normal. We're going man. To go cover one, I'll go to Wheaton. Cover two, we'll see what happens. Cover one. Good throw. Ah, oh, good defense. I thought it was a halfway decent throw, but that's just great defense. Yeah, I try to go to the side or more towards the back of the corner, but. He couldn't get it there. Let's go. And it's second and ten. Let's go back to Lonnie. We'll do it from spread this time. They're going zone. And nothing is open. Nothing is open. Ooh, that could have been bad. <laughs> I should have threw that one away. All right, now it's third and ten. We'll go five semi. We're going man. We can get good protection, hopefully. And they're doing that. I'll probably still throw it to Flair. And he drops it. We'll kick a field goal. What do you do? It was a good throw. And I missed it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it! I hate kicking. <laughs> That's the first one I've missed all year. All for naught. All right, let's get back on defense. Get a stop there. Now second and ten. Go back to quarters. I'm guessing they're going to throw here. Gone. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a play and a half. I don't know what call. I don't know if that was. I think that was their QB choice, maybe. Nobody pulled. That's a terrible angle by Staggs. Strong safety screwed up on that one. Well, it looks like they decided to run, so it looks like we got to go to one high. First and ten. Ball in the 22. One man backfield. And they'll run away. Look at this. Oh. Second and long. I don't trust him, so I'm going to go back to a one high. Good stop there. Now it's third and long. 
We'll go back to Cloud. Get a stop here and hopefully hold him to a field goal. Marshall comes to the line with three wide. Back to back. He steps up. Look. Across the middle. Oh, that should have been picked off. Man. All right, kick a field goal. We got to figure out what to do on offense. It's just not clicking right now. I don't know if I just need to give the peoples more. Of course, the last drive, I mean, when you have a big drop like that. It could be worse, I guess. All right, let's get back on offense and try to figure out something. See if Anderson can do something here. Top returner of the country. All right, we're on the left hash. Let's see, what haven't I called yet? And I pressed the wrong button. Now they're going man, we'll leave it. All right, we're going to go five semi from gun five wide. Pick up the first there. I need to check something real quick. Yeah, they went one high, just making sure. Okay. Pick up the first down there. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. We could try a toss with Peoples. We're going man. I don't mind the shift. I care more about what the defensive line does. There we go. He may be gone. Oh, good play. All right, end of the quarter. Let's go back and let's stay here. Let's go back to corners. They're going man. Let's see what these safeties do. Shifting that way. I'm going to get an extra blocker. They may be going cover zero. I'm going to try to go back to flare. Good throw. Nice throw, yeah. So where are we at? We are on the eight. Let's do basic slam with Peoples. We're going man, four, three. We're doing that. There we go, let's pick up the six. All right, we got the lead. Get an extra point. And we'll get back on defense. Okay. Seven to three. But the second quarter just started, so a ton of time left. And this one's going out of bounds. I hit the button way too early. So my special teams has been pretty terrible so far today. I'm just messing up. It happens. One kick is perfect. The next is not. And it's all me. It's not the computer or the game. That's for sure. Uh, hmm. Let's go back to quarters. Wouldn't shock me if they, th if they ran the ball, but. They're doing a lot of that on first down. I think they're going to throw it here. Good open field tackle. Let's go three, four quarters. Give our front line a break because we may need them in the third, on the third down. Good defense there. Had a couple guys around the ball. And we're going to go back to Cloud. Love to get a stop here. They're flipping their formations a lot today. Ooh. Really close. All right, let's get the ball back. I like the stretch to lead, if I can. I need to run some draw. I haven't got to do that yet. I just forgot. 
We can try down the first play, depending on where we're at. And it's just good defense there. We can try. We can do it from here. That's fine. We're going man. The key is to not use the speed button in this situation until you get out of work like this. Then you can use the speed button. <laughs> they went man, so I was natural they could go into the outside. Well, he broke Jackson's record for most yards in a single season. Good little draw play right there. Now let's go play action. We're going man. Spreading out. We're going to need all the blocking we can get here. Both of them are coming up. Terrible throw, Steichen. Man, that was bad. Golly, Steichen. Just a bad throw. Uh, all right, let's go zone blitz. And that's what happens. There he goes. He felt the blitz and he ran. So we won't blitz anymore. Not until we feel like we have to. Oh, look at this play. Oh, big play by Mitchell. That was a crazy play. We got to look at this. I don't know what all happened. I, this doesn't happen too often. So right here is... He breaks the tackle. So I'm going to go after him. Then I wasn't expecting him to throw it. Because that dude was wide open. Oh my gosh, that guy was wide open. Then I took over Mitchell. I got in front of it. Gosh, what a game, I tell you. Weird, weird, weird. So neither quarterback is playing well. Steichen better get with him. I'm going to put in somebody else. I... I don't like that inaccuracy. Let's do this. That's just, yeah, terrible play. Bad, bad play. We'll go slam just to get her out of a hole. I trust him more than I trust Stachin at this point. And they're, and they're doing that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> he was sitting right there. Oh, gosh. That should have been picked off. I didn't see him. Golly. All right, let's go five out. A deep ad's not going to work. I just now realized that. We're too far back. We can try it, though. Oh, man, that actually would have worked, but it's a bad throw. Steichen, come on, get with it. He overthrew it. Man, his accuracy's been off today. That's one thing with this offense. you got to have such good accuracy to really make things work. And they're going to have great field position here. Why didn't he fair catch that? I don't think it matters, but... Man, what a goofy game, I swear. Play action, and there he goes. I'm glad I took him over, otherwise he would have ran right by him. Now the quarterback's starting to run around some. There he goes. Somebody get him. I'm not even blitzing and he's just running. I don't know what to do about it. I mean, I could do a spy, but... We can... We'll do a spy goal. We'll do one high, but he can attack the the coverage. One man and they decide to run it, so it don't matter. <laughs> well, that was a big waste. Well, let's get on offense, trying to screw things up. And he on the extra point. 
So now I don't trust Steichen. I mean, he every other throw has been terrible. So do I just give the peoples about every other down? I'm about to that point. We can't handle any more turnovers. I mean, that's why we're going to – if we lose, that's why we're going to lose is due to turnovers. No blocking. Let's give it back to Peoples. Go here. Pick up the first. Let's do another toss. They're throwing a lot of man at us, so that's going to help. Get a block right there. Good block. Fill back. Pick up the first. Now, I'd love to. I mean, we can try it. We can go meals, play action. We're going man. Last time we called this, he threw a pick. Just a bad throw. A little bit better. I thought off my back foot on that one. Let's do a slam with Peoples. They're going man 4-3. Let's run some clock. I'd like to use up the rest of this clock before half. I know they get the ball started second half, but... Let's use up some of it if we can. There we go. Six points. All right. Just give it to your best player. <laughs> give the peoples. Okay. Got the lead back somehow. I don't know. It's been a mess so far. I feel like we could be up three scores. If it weren't for the interceptions. Get back on defense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It doesn't really matter what happens here because, well, I mean, we get more recruiting points if we win. But we're going to get our fifth star as a coach and as a school. So it doesn't really matter, you know. I, I'd rather win. <laughs> That's obvious, but. Uh-oh. There he goes. Our linebacker just hasn't performed nowhere near as good as last year, that's for sure. Not with what's-his-face. I already forgot his name. Linebacker from last year had all those interceptions. I'm terrible when it comes to remembering names. Second and two. Still one high. I'm going to throw something weird at him. My gosh. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> Man beater. Well, stay away from that. Now we just got to hope he throws interceptions, which he hasn't done yet. Nothing else seems to be working. The one interception he did through, it was off his back foot, so I wouldn't expect anything else. Oh, I should have been right there. Dang it. I should have picked that off. And they're going to do something goofy here. Watch out. Oh, back yet. We're going to do an option or we're going to do that. Okay, third and nine. And, hmm, I'm going to call a timeout. I'm not going to do anything. I prefer to, do, to call something normal, to be honest. And if they convert it, I'd, whatever. But I want to get a proper defense with the right personnel. Oh. 
There he goes. Fumble! Oh, what a hit! And they're going to kick a field goal. That was a hit and a half. We can go back and look at this. That was me. I took him over right the last second. Mm. They still recovered it. Okay, they're going to kick it just in time. Their timing is perfect on this. I'm sure he'll make it. Ooh, they call the timeout. You can't ice the kicker in this game. I mean, we can try, but I don't think it'll... You could do it in the other games. I think in either 07 or 08, they introduced Ice and the Kicker. Like we can call a timeout here. We do defensive line. We got one more. And I'm not going to do a field goal block. It never works. Plus, I don't want them to fake it. <laughs> Get an easy touchdown. So I'd rather go to a field goal man. Yeah, right down the middle. Well, we still have the lead, technically. I'd love to see Anderson take this back. But we've got all of our touchdowns and punt returns, not on kick returns. Okay. That was a crazy first half. And we are up 14 of the 13. We can look at some stats. We're moving the ball fine, but we're having dumb penalty or dumb turnovers. We've had two of them already. Let's go to individual stats. Steichen is having the worst game of the, of the season for It's bad. Just some really bad throws. It's people's though. He's already got 167 yards rushing. I think we need to keep giving him the ball. And just sprinkle in some passing after that. I think that's the plan going forward because I just don't trust Tychen just to march right down the field today. He just he's not feeling it. We need to cause some turnovers on defense. That it's going to help. Otherwise, their offense is moving the ball pretty well. Good hit by Faga. I'm going to stick with quarters again. Oh, you got to be kidding. I swear. What do you do? Linebacker took a, a terrible angle. I mean, it was bad. Look at this. He just went right by him. Look at this. Uh. All right, let's give our front line a break and go to a 3-4. Now watch him run it here. There he goes. He's running a ton now for whatever reason. We're not blitzing, so I don't know what the deal is. Let's, mm, let's do this double outside linebacker spy. But it's a soft cover two. That's why I don't like it. So I need to do that cover three instead. And they're going to run it. Ooh, good open field tackle. Third and nine. We got to get a stop here. I'm going to control. This guy, we're going to do a spy. We're going to sit here. And it doesn't matter. What do you do? I don't know. We're just, we're just going to put up their yards today. Go to one high, I guess. I don't know. Now I'm just picking at things. Turn it up 
Bad. I'll be. Who do you go after? I had to pick out one of them. Just a terrible game, though. We're just not playing well. It's been that way. It's the last back end of the season for whatever reason. Doing great at the beginning of the season and then just absolute terrible afterwards. Wide open. Touchdown. He still gets it, I swear. That's crap. Whatever. That's just the way the game's going today. You just deal with it move on. Wide open. It, like, it, it doesn't matter. All right, let's get it back on offense and try to tie it up because our defense ain't going to do anything. Nothing. I want to keep giving it to the peoples. I don't know what else to do because passing game is not working well. Very fortunate that wasn't a much worse play. Let's go slam. You're right, coach. It's going to be interesting to see if he can bounce back from that tough first half. Good block there. Good play there. Let's go back to a toss. Spreading out that way. Fullback was too slow on that one. We go slam. I'm going to keep giving the peoples. I just don't trust Steichen today. Can't get the first. Now watch what's going to happen here. I'm going to go ace, big tight, big twins. We're going to run it. We're going to get stuffed. I just got that feeling. Watch this. Nope, we got lucky. <laughs> Just got lucky on that one. I, I just had that feeling we was gonna get stuffed. Well, let's give him a bit of a break. Let's go blast. Watch him pinch. Don't pinch. Nope, they're not gonna do it. There's nothing there. Montoya brings him down. Three yard gain by the running back. Let's do a toss of Peoples, get him back out there to go in zone. Great play. Let's go look at this again. A good block by the fullback. Right there. Stiff arm. The Peoples stiff arm. First down. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. He's still feeling pretty good. Let's, see if they Let's go do a draw. It's first and ten. We're going Let's zone, 4-3. Uh, three wide out here. Got stuff, nobody blocked. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be up. Let's go back to a toss. We're going zone. This has been a good time to have somebody to... Dang it. That's a terrible play. No blocking. Somebody block. Come on. Got to go five semi. We can't... I'm not kicking a field goal. I don't trust it. Let's put in Coleman. 
and it's not going to work. Dang it. I've, the formation subs is messing it up. Peoples. Let's go formation subs. There we go. We'll try slam. We're going zone. I'm afraid to do this. Mm, first down. Good deal. Let's go back to slam. For all those who just want to see me run the ball, well, here it is. <laughs> Ooh, almost intercepted. I thought they were bringing both safeties, so I went to an audible. And, of course, Steichen makes a terrible throw. Terrible throw. Again. I don't get it. He's just playing terrible today. Let's just let Peoples do the whole thing. Now I need to go back and fix that formation sub. There we go. Okay, let's tie it up. And then I, uh, defensively, I don't know what to do. Offensively, I kind of figured out I'm just going to run the ball the rest of the time. I just don't trust our passing game. And watch me miss this extra point. And what stinks is the last two seasons have been all fun and gun. Throwing the ball deep and whatnot. And I hate that I may end that run just by running the ball the entire time. I mean, but I don't know what else to do. I'm afraid Stats is going to throw another pick. And this was a terrible kick. And he's going, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! God, I just, what do you do? Just a terrible game. Nothing's going right. Absolutely nothing's going right. Again, at the end of the season, it just, everything falls apart. Last four games have been close. I don't know why, and they shouldn't have been. I had a comment. I'll, I'll bring it up. Somebody had a comment months ago about how towards the end of the season, it just the game just makes it harder on you for whatever reason. Sometimes I wonder, because the last four, three or four games have just been real nail biters when they probably shouldn't have been. So, whatever. That's just being, being a conspiracy theorist, I guess. No blocking there. Let's go with a toss. Let's go, Peoples. Go, Peoples, take it to the house. Ah! Gosh. 317 yards. Got to do something. At least he's going to end his season on a high note. We may not win the game, but he's going to put up his numbers. Huh. I couldn't run for this many yards if I ran option. It'd be tough. But he's just playing well. All right. I would say let's get back on defense, but can we? We can give up a kickoff return for a touchdown. How's the block in the back? They're not going to call it. Hey, we're on defense. Finally get there. Am I going to have to start taking over a linebacker to do something on defense? Because right now, nothing else. There he goes. Somebody stop it. Well, eight yards. I'm going to go with a one high, but watch him throw it. Play action. And he still catches it. you got to be kidding. He still caught it. It's like, it doesn't matter what I call. I mean, they're just going to do their thing. So, I mean, just whatever. Now it's pure luck if we're going to win this thing. I've pretty much decided on that. They're just going to make their plays. Look at this. 
Yeah, well, we're lucky on that one. I can't blitz. I mean, I can try, but he'll just run out of it. Oh, that should have been picked. How many have we had like that today? Catch the ball. Golly. It's not that hard. This quarterback thought his man would be open, and boy, he was wrong. The thundering herd come out in the ace I went with Cloud. I mean, it's third. You think they're going to throw it. There he goes. Dang it. Dang it. Ah, I'm fixing to throw something. It's just like it doesn't matter what you call. They're just going to get their yards. Can we get lucky on a fumble? Anything. Bad throw, thankfully. I guess we'll have. I'll have. I'll try to remember to go to a spy of some sort on third down if we can get to third down. Drops it. Has a feel. And they're a. Uh, yeah, we'll do this spy. We'll flip it. I want the spy on the right. Somebody make a play. Kick a field goal, please. Gosh, what a mess. I swear. I'm back glad this game's over with. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I don't know whether to run clock or not. Or I'm just glad we had him to a field goal. Because right now our defense has been pathetic today. Bad. Ah. Let's try to slam. They're going man. Is that guy going to blitz as well? He probably is. Let's see. Get, this way. Get out of bounds. Try another toss. You're going man. Touchdown. Gone. Give the peoples win and doubt. Oh. That's five touchdowns today. We broke that record. Oh, gosh. Goofy, goofy, goofy game. Good block here by the fullback. All right. Extra point and try to figure out what to do on defense. Score 35 points. We barely had 100 yards of passing. But I had no choice. I had to make that call just to give the peoples. This one's going to the sideline. Okay. We'll go back to one high. They're going to their big ace big set for whatever reason. Doing a ton of that right now. Come out in the ace formation. I'm going to double team this receiver if I can. Nope, they're going draw. Look at this. That's, what do you do? Let's do quarters from 3 4. Here's the run. Free safety should never have to make that play, but he did. The old head coach has to be happy with the running game today. 
I guess we'll do a one high. I, I don't know what they're going to do, to be honest. Ball on their own 49. Marshall sets up with four receivers. Draw. First down. Their draw always works in the gun. I, it never works for me. I never understood it. It always gets stuffed when I call it. Now they decided to just go to their running back. Look at oh, you gotta be kidding! What in the world's going on? Defensively, I don't know what's happening. I don't get it. It's just like they cannot do anything today. Uh, that was a glitch. That was supposed to be a draw. Say it was a glitch, and he ended up keeping it. And I completely done stupid stuff there. I just don't know what to call. It's like it doesn't matter what I call. Single set back for you. Thank the Lord he dropped it. We're gonna go cloud. I'll be the the spy. He'll have all day to throw. And it just... somebody get it! Finally, finally, finally! Gosh, something happened right for us on defense. Finally. What a mess. All right, let's run clock. They're going to call timeouts. Zone nickel. Uh, and nobody blocked. Good job, everybody. Good job. That's one of the downsides of the draw. Sometimes somebody will just come right on through. Nothing you can do about it. We're having no choice but to go right here. We're gonna call another timeout, third and nine. I gotta throw it here. This is our second throw of the half. And just no blocking whatsoever. Look at this. Came right on through. Uh, that's why I had to keep backing up. He kept on coming through. I have to high kick it, otherwise he'll return it for a touchdown. UNLV, ready to put this one away. And this, dang it, dang it! Look at this. Gosh, just abysmal football. I, I'm sorry, fellas. It's, I don't know what to do about it. It's just. We deserve to lose, I guess. I don't know. I just don't understand it. Just so many goofy mistakes, and you don't feel like none of it's your fault. And another. Good. I'm glad you're hurt. This guy, he'll probably do just as well. I swear. Got to get lucky here. Look at that. All day to throw. All day to throw. Perfect throw. I swear. It's just the game. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, it's just like defense. We just decided not to play today. I don't get it, but whatever. No pressure on the quarterback. I don't think we've had one sack. Backup comes in. Looks like Brett Favre on the first throw. Now we got to pull off a miracle. I'm still going to run the ball. I know we got 52 seconds, but I trust Peoples more than I trust Steichen. Forty-eight seconds. I'm still going to run it. I'm at the point where I don't care anymore. We're going man dime. Ball on their own 
Have to call a timeout. McCall, same play. 416 yards, five touchdowns. Good block there. Oh, he broke the flare. I broke my own record. Most running or rushing. Um, I'm having one of those days. Most rushing yards in a game. I broke the record I had with Flowers at UCLA. Well, here's the problem. You know what it is? It's defense. We can't do anything today. And we gave him too much time. I should have stepped out of bounds. At least they got to get a touchdown in order to win. This time, I'm controlling a linebacker. I don't care. I got to win this game. And nothing is working on the back end. They got too much time to throw. Twenty-nine seconds. I'm gonna bait them into a pick. I'm gonna try. It's been a long time since I've done this. Look at this. <laughs> I hate, I'm, I'm about to throw something. I mean, I don't know what to do. No pressure again. He just makes a perfect deep ball. Just a complete mess. And of course he catches it. They're going to score here. I have full faith that they will score. Touchdown. Told you. Game over. I swear. I'm... Well, that's the perfect way to end this stupid dynasty. Gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm ready to get out of here. They can have it. I don't need it. We'll go on to another school. I hate to end this, the UNLV dynasty this way, but I don't know. They just play terrible football all day, offensively, defensively. I don't understand it, but it just – who cares? It don't matter. All right, decide. Think of some ideas, Oklahoma State or Mississippi State, because I'm not coming back to UNLV. I've had enough of it. I've had enough, had enough. Doesn't matter what I call. Three seconds, that's just too we're too far back. And <laughs> Oh gosh, that's the perfect way to end it. All right. And just I'm sorry, I just just sad all around. Like, I mean, let's look at stats. We gave up almost 500 yards today. I don't know how or why, but it just we couldn't stop them. It didn't make a difference what we done. And I and people's had the best rushing game ever, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, all right, Oklahoma State or Mississippi State, something to think about. Force fun, yeah, just stupid play just all around. That's so frustrating. All right, come on back, and we'll move on to the next team. I'll talk to you later.